The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, on this Wednesday, October, October, November the 3rd, we just, uh, if, uh, October evaporated, just gone down the tubes. Now we're into November and we're looking at the Dow down 100 points at 35,953. I'm going to take a little time today, if you don't mind. There's a lot to discuss. I did two hours yesterday. I did a Tommy show, I did my own show, and I discussed some of this in great detail. I want to keep covering it because I had so many questions uh, about um, timing. Uh, it's, how do you go about timing? Does it work? Uh, what are the technicals that you look at? So let me just go through this step by step. The Dow has gone to a leg E in the Chapman Wave methodology. The steepness of the move after this peak D with three bars not breaking to new high, but four bars, says, says that this is a, a better chance that this is a leg E, and that yes, you could have a new uh, higher high to an F in the Chapman methodology, but the on balance volume is so overbought that there should be some digestive phase right now. That's number one. Number two, oh, I may as well just show this because you're doing uh, this is like almost like technical Friday here. I do want to show this because it's all part of what, if, you, if you're listening to my show right now, you've been listening for years, certainly, if you listen for a couple of decades, almost two decades, then you know that I talk about the waveform, identify the lowest low bar, count each success of the higher peak, alphabetize them, A through G, that's seven higher peaks, but it's the fourth highest peak, A, B, C, D, that fourth highest peak, where other things can happen. Yes, it can go to an E, but within three bars, if it goes to a higher high, you can get an alternate count. Uh, exactly what is happening here, your objective is to go from a buy signal to an upgraded buy mode. The implication there is that you should get at least a minimum of four peaks. So let's do this as simple as possible. There's nothing complicated there. So now let's go on and we'll say in the weekly chart, we had a peak G slash C with a very sharp pullback. And that was the pullback from uh, Dow 35,000. 631, the week of the 20th of August. Remember, the 15th, 16th was not the top in the daily. And we pulled back pretty sharply, 2,000 points. But then we broke in um, a shorter time period to the new high. That is really important. And that suggests that there was internal strength. But wait a minute. Internal strength? That's only because the 9-period moving average did not go under the 14-period moving average. The MACD still, to this moment, hasn't crossed positive. Could deflect lower. It's close, but it hasn't yet closed, uh, crossed the green line. The faster 9-period differential has not gone above the 26-period um, moving average. Slow, uh, slow moving average, all of these exponential moving averages. Uh, it has a chance to stochastic is at 88%. That's good. On balance volume is a little bit overbought in the weekly chart. And we've got a peak D right here in the 120 minute chart, a little side in doji, pull back to where the 14 period moving average. So this is nothing compared to where we've been. It's nothing even compared to yesterday because yesterday was a very big green candle, and now we're just kind of in the middle, an inside day so far. So where does this take us? That takes us to the monthly chart that went quite quickly from a D, one bar down for an E, a very modest E uh, a slide with a lower high. And then we go to a new all-time high in October, and that's been followed through in December, the first couple of days, we've gone to the first day, in fact, of November, went to a new high, and that is E, right going, bumping up against the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. So, how do we plan on these things? Well, for, the, for subscribers to the opening call, we're still long. You can see right here, we're long from the, uh, with options, the, the day of the low of 23rd of March 2020. April the 3rd, we went long diamonds. Uh, we've taken uh, two little bits off. We've still kept the core position because that long-term buy and hold is what we want to keep. There's, there's no way we're going back to 18,213. Uh, not yet, not for a long time. And as far as I'm concerned, 
that implies that you want to keep a long, a kind of a portfolio, a long position that you don't want to touch. Number two, on a shorter term basis, we did short the Dow just a little bit below the, the highs at 35,631. Uh, around just over there, we went short about 35,500. And we um, took profits and then we switched to the diamonds alongside. And uh, we've had a number of positions on the diamonds. And within that context, we have just moment, we, we've just a couple of days ago started a, a short position in the Dow. And today we got out of our last of the trading positions in the diamonds. So now we have more of a bias on the short term to the downside. Doesn't mean we're right. No way. You can't tell whether you're right or wrong until you start to see certain levels get taken out. We haven't even taken out the nine period moving average, which this has walked uh, above the green line all the time. So 35,754, let's say close below 35,740. Would say, aha, now you maybe maybe you've got something going here, but you really need 35,605, the 14-period moving average. You need to close below that, as you did here when you started to come down and it turned pink instead of being green, the nine-period moving average. So this is just a preliminary using only Chapman wave techniques because let me tell you, if I was just basing it on the on the MACD, the stochastic, the nine over the 14-period moving average, and then on balance volume and my chapter wave notation, I would not be attempting a short at all. So those are the techniques that we've used. We've used them pretty successfully before. Doesn't mean it's going to be successful now, but this is what we're attempting, right? So leg D slash B in the weekly chart. Don't have to discuss that until we start to see what happens in the daily. And monthly, of course, um, no matter what happens, you can't get a peak E until the whole of December. That's two full months whole of November, whole of December is completed to see if there is a lower high bar to make a peak E in the monthly chart. All right, got that out the way. Now we can go a little quicker. S&P, <laughs> S&P right now is at a leg D. It could be a peak D yesterday's high of, did I put that in correctly? 46, 35, 15. Gosh, we've been moving so quickly every day. I have to keep changing these 46, I think I said 35, 18. Oh, my goodness. I, I was talking at the same time. Never do that. Um, let me see. 36, 35, 15. Oh, close. But no cigar. All right. There we are. Um, there we are. So we've got a leg D, and it's at the fourth highest peak, peak D, where other things can happen. We will see. Days young. Got a lot to do. We've got the Fed coming up. We've got a lot of things. So let's get on. This is a leg E in the weekly chart and only a leg B with just one little minor modest peak since the low of 2191.86, 23rd of March 2020. And here we are, the 3rd of November of 2021. And this is still leg B. You cannot get a peak B. You can, you can hint that it's getting there. But you have to wait for the full bar, and that means the whole of December has to have a lower high bar or whatever is um, in the uh, monthly chart of November. It has to have a lower bar, and you have to wait until the 31st. Will it be the 31st of December? Oh, absolutely. That's the last day of the year, 31st of December. All right, I'll be back, and we'll talk about the QQQ making a new all-time high, pulling back a little bit, down eight, uh, six cents. I'll be back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi right, everyone, we're back. Basil Chapman, Dow's down 110, SMB's down 7.5. We're looking at the QQQ's down 12 cents at 388.95. Made a high today of 389.95, but this is C. Now, it doesn't really have to go to a D. I, I can just tell you that that's kind of what buy modes do in Chapman Wave methodology. So all I can say is there's a chance that we have a pullback and later maybe starting a little bit more aggressively in the Q's later today. And then maybe make a leg D. Uh, um, so that means we'd have to have no new high tomorrow. That's Thursday, maybe Friday, pop to a leg D. Maybe Monday, have a bit more of a pullback. Let's put this together with the SMHs. SMHs are in leg E. <clears throat> Had a round number high yesterday of 280.00. Today's high is 280.46. Down 39 cents at 279.44. MACD's fantastic stochastics at 99%, 99.07. That means you are 0.94 away from 100%, which you never reach. I've, I've never seen it. I've seen close, but never. This is, I mean, absolutely ideal to, to get the, the semiconductors to tank from here and to go under 80%. You'd have to have a move down to 263 or lower. Um, well, that's, I mean, it's amazing. So I suspect that that's going to be the clue that we might find that there's a rotational high. Remember highs sometimes are made in rotation. Lows are made within a day or two of one another, uh, like the March low of 2000s, March 6th on Friday, March 9th on Monday in uh, 2020, uh, sorry, 2009, um, March 23 this past year. Uh, we had coincidental lows, uh, but highs can rotate. I mean, you remember the IWM made its high back in February, and now it's just made, uh, made a new all-time high. The Dow made its high uh, August 16th, and the others have come on closer. So I'm just saying a high, but I just think is a, a, a pullback, the one that we would like to trade, because I don't know how shallow or how deep it will be yet until I see exactly how the technicals respond if there is a pullback. So the question, I had a number of questions coming up, is it time to short the SMHs? We have not gone short the SMHs. I love the SOXS um, as a trading vehicle, uh, but this is leveraged. 
and it means that you just have to get it perfectly. And uh, a bunch of you that, that asked about it, if you're interested at all, I would just say to you, you've got to be really careful. But if you're monitoring it and you you know exactly uh, ex you know exactly what your your risk is, yes, it may be C1, C2, uh, in that re in the top. Remember, we we were we were short at some point. We've been short the the the, the socks via the socks and the semis, uh, and then we took profits and we haven't been yet. So if you want to, if you're thinking about it. Here's a nibble at 526. But remember, it moves. Look at this. It's down just three cents. That's 0.47%. So all I can say is you've got to be very careful. I'm, this is the direction same as I believe this is two to one short. Just someone correct me. I, I just I don't know why I always forget on the socks. Um, is it three to one? I, I, I know that when we've done it, we've had... It's worked with us, and I've, I've, I've accommodated for that leverage. But all I can say is right here at 525, the low today is uh, 523. So at 525, 524 in this area, if you want to nibble it, I, I haven't got the sign yet. I still haven't got a, a, a full sign to say that I'm ready. But if you do look at the SMH 120-minute chart, let me get there. Let me type it in over here. SMH, what? here we go. Um, look, it's in a leg D, but it's still a leg D in the 120. It hasn't made a peak yet. So you've got to be real careful. If you're prepared to, say, have a 10 cent or even a 15 cent on, on a leverage position like that, you can try it. I haven't done it yet. We've done other things which seem to be working. So going step by step, all I can say is it would be on my list tomorrow, although I don't want to get overly short here because I still see strength. I don't think this is the major top. I still see that the market's holding quite well going into with, with a couple of really sharp pullbacks. But I still think it's going to hold fairly well going to end of the, the year. That's at the moment. I could change that. So, yeah, I'm looking at that computer. And I should be looking at this one as well. Um, yeah. So that, all right, that's what I'm thinking. Now, you just have a very tight stop in. And even now, why don't you wait for a little bit of a, there could be a little bit of a bounce now. Try to get a better price. Two cents makes a difference, believe me. We saw that in the percentages. So SOXS uh, trading now at, now it's at 23, now it's at the low of the day. I, I'd have a little patience. Just have a little patience. But if you want to put it in, a 2% stop on a, on a leverage uh, like this, uh, that would make it 10, 11, 11 cents. I'd say, okay, you understand the risks. That's fine. All right, enough. Now what I want to do is I want to go to the IWM, the Russell 2000, still strong. It's up 215 at 236.57. Wow, I can't believe we were long from the 176 area way back, what was it, a year ago or so? Um, and it had a spectacular move. We took profits, took profits. Then I got out at about 215, I think it was. And now look at this. It's at 236. Uh, it did go down to the 210 level. It gave a couple of chances to get back in in the 215s. I never took that chance. And here it is. I am calling it a, a, a peak F, a leg F. Could be an alternate count because the MACD is really strong, stochastic strong. On balance volume is good, not great, but good. And the 9 is way above the 14. Uh, so all I can say is watch this closely. Let's just do this real quickly here. Um, so the IWM is in leg D in the 120-minute chart. I didn't do this. The ES, that's the continuous contract. Uh, leg C in the daily, peak C1, C2, C3, even a C4 in the 120-minute chart, just pulling back a little bit leg D in the, in the weekly. All right, let's now go to the gold. Uh, gold, a huge move down, 26 points at 1762. We, we're along the GDX. We've raised the stop so that we don't take a loss. So far, uh, one. I can't tell. Uh, no, I think, we're, yeah, we're still long, but I, I'm not happy at all. I wasn't happy about yesterday's action, very unhappy about today's. Uh, but that doesn't make me very sad because we are still long the dollar. And the dollar right now is up uh, 04 point, uh, 4 ticks at 94.13, up in the higher range. So I, I still think the dollar is holding really well under these conditions, and I, th I still think it's 
more a benchmark for me. That's the reason why I, for subscribers, I still have the dollar uh, leg C in the 120-minute chart. Uh, one of the reasons is I think it is it is an icon for the American economy. That's, I'm making it as simple as possible. Now, uh, let's go on. We want to look at silver. Silver, remember yesterday we were looking at the chart and I said, wow, I didn't like that at all. Don't like it today. It's down at 23.11, uh, down 39 uh, cents from a peak D at the 200 period moving average. Now I can put a down arrow. It's in the sell signal to sell mode. That's just the daily, the weekly is still basically in the sell mode. And monthly is just. So that's that. I want to quickly into high grade copper. High grade copper is at the lower end of the range after the peak. How many times did you see the in sharp pullbacks? Ha, huh, 3D systems. Uh, one, two, three. No, three D's right there. One, two, three. Uh, nice move up there. Oh, that recycled up. That's it. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So a couple of things. Uh, we had a trade in the, no, we, but in the trade in the den. Uh, Ross Dan has this analysis. It did not just extremely well, just unbelievably well. He was talking about this ARWR. You know, we've done this very often. We had the analysis, uh, but he had this trade and uh, just basically from way down is trading up 299 today, 78.89, up 4%. However, yesterday had a spectacular move in three days. It's gone from the uh, uh, 63 area to high today of 79.50. 
hasn't quite filled in the gap, but this is a leg B in the daily, leg B in the monthly, uh, in the weekly, and the monthly chart looks like it's trying its best to get to the uh, 78.83 area. <laughs> we'll see what happens there. So very good. And and GT, um, uh, Jeff in the Den has been talking about GT. Uh, this is Goodyear Tire for I don't know how long. Uh, I think it was it was below 20, I believe, and now it's trading at uh, 21. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back in the 17s, and now it's 21.62. Yes, very nice. Leg E in the daily, only a leg C in the weekly, and a leg E in the monthly. And it's gone back to the left side, right side price time match that I drew in. It is about two months late in that left side, right side uh, match, but it's going towards that 21 level that I, I had uh, typed in. Well, let's go to Phil in Puerto Rico. Phil, how are you? What do you know? What do you say, Basil? Yeah, it's nice to hear from you. What's the story? The story is ADTX. I've been swinging this for a while. Um, you guys helped me a lot with this. I just wanted to see what your methodology was telling you for ticker ADTX. So ADTX is trading at a dollar eighty-two. It's up five cents. Of course, when you had eighty dollar eighty-two. Five cents means it can be up almost three percent. So big let's move, do this. Huh? Big move. <laughs> <laughs> you can retire with that. So now what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to draw in. The first thing I do is I say I can identify a cup formation forming. And I, I always wanted to do this. It looks like a liver. I guess you've got the one side and you've got the other side, all based on the cup, <laughs> cup formation. Um, now I'm going to show you something that I like to do. I go from the left side low, and it goes peak A, peak B, and a peak C. And that was down. I'm going to give you the exact numbers in a minute. A, B, and then it fails. But it, it fails because it takes out the left side low. So that becomes a C minus. What I'm talking about is the, the, the rally that started on the 21st of September at $1.52. And it ran with a real bumpy ride getting to $1.86, then slides down to $1.63, uh, sorry, 57, no, 51, $1.51, and then it rallies all the way within one day. It goes all the way to 219, and then it has no problem coming back to $1.51. It's like this $1.50 is, 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 is its magnet, just keeps pulling it back. But then what it does is it starts another move, and now from this move, I have to call this a leg A, right? A brand new A. And right. it becomes an A failure if it took out that dollar. Let me just see if it took out the left side low. I'm taking a little time over this because it's very intriguing for percentage gains. It doesn't hold the gains, but if you're able to grab it and run, it's 100, 151, 151, 152. So, okay, so that is a peak A, pulls back, he has another A, he has a B. All right, so this is what I'm going to say to you. In the pattern that I'm looking at, it's got, it's, it uses the whole 150s as a springboard. It's done it every time, and it has, it's very seldom stayed there for more than, it's a couple of days before it goes back to the 160s, 170s, and then spirals higher. Now it's trading up five cents. At 181, do you have a position? Yeah, what I what I do is I trade the options and then I use the profits just to accumulate more shares. Is what I do. So yeah, I just I'm constantly building a position. I mean, I trade around my core position, but I want to accumulate as much as I can and hold it through next year because that's uh, everything I read fundamentally about the company. That's when they're really going to launch this uh, this global initiative they have and execute their plan. Okay, so you have a plan. What I'm going to suggest, what would the options cost? What would, what, is it a $1.75 option do they have? What, what, what do they have options? What strikes? Well, the strikes go, <clears throat> excuse me, anywhere from, what was it, 150 to five, I think they have 750s now. Um, I'm not in front of the computer. 150 strike to five dollar, or they, there may be 750 calls. But uh, okay. I would say one, yeah. 150 to five dollars. Uh, okay, so this is in play for a number of reasons. I actually don't know what they do, but let's just say 
You don't have to know what they do right now because it's building a base in the weekly chart. The monthly chart has a lousy looking monthly chart, but the weekly chart has just begun to improve. And as we speak, the um, MACD is just about to turn positive and it's got uh, two and a half days in which to do that by the end of the week. So this is what I'm going to recommend. If you're looking at it and you're trading the options, it gives you time. It means that who cares if it's at $1.82 today and tomorrow it tests 172, the, the nine period moving average, especially if you're looking out at, at, at say, calls that are looking towards another pop into the 190 to 10 area. If, I, that's kind of the way you're looking at it, right? Correct. Okay. So if that's the way you're looking at it, I'm going to suggest to you that once it starts this big up spike, it sometimes takes three to four sessions, between two and four sessions, before it actually takes out the left side high. You're at $1.82 okay. right now. So I'm going to suggest to you, this is the way I would look at it. I suspect that if there is a move to today's high of 185, and it holds there and it holds there and holds there, and there isn't a sudden pullback to 183, 1.82, 1, 1 but instead it breaks above that level towards the end of the day, that tomorrow you could see a very quick gap to the upside above the 189 level. So that's all dependent. I would not like to see it by the end of the day uh, closing below today's low so far, which is 178. If it does that, you have to wait a little. You have to have a little more patience. But it is obviously making higher highs and higher lows. That's the theme. The theme is also it cannot take the strain of holding in the one in the two dollar area. It constantly has to come back. So just keep. You know, I love to look at stocks and say. Tell me, what is your character? And the character here is, is trying to form a base. I'm just going to, if you're able to see my charts, I'm going to grab a base and I'll just say this is the most obvious trading area between about 180 and uh, 155. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it should not hold it too long before it tries to pop back over into the, the two area. So keep that in mind, and one, I think you're right. I would, at some point, you're going to be wrong, but I would keep grabbing right. money from the options because I'm saying at some point it's going to hold and actually climb into the 220s. But as long as it keeps going into the twos, I take some profits and I keep trying to do this over and over. But my eye says, I think you're right. Now, I don't know about next year, but I think within November, there's a chance that it's going to try for the 220 to 220. It's a 230 area. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So, so Phil, you're still there? I'm here. That's uh, yeah, so fantastic I as always. I appreciate your time. And I just logged on to my computer. They have strikes from one dollar to seven dollars. Okay, which, and, the, uh, and, and what is the price to, more? Let's just say the dollar seventy five or one eighty. What is the strike? Is it more than twenty five cents or thirty cents? Oh shoot! Give me one second here. Uh, all right, while um, you're looking, I'm just going to tell people that is, AD. It is. Uh, it's going to log back in here. The. Uh, Uh, six dollar strikes are uh, four dollars and ten cents bid. Five dollar, three dollar bid. Four dollar strike, a dollar ninety bid. Two dollar fifty strike, seventy five cents bid. Those wow. expire uh, on the nineteenth. November. Okay. So I think we're, 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 I think we're both thinking the same thing. I just checked out. So this is in the biotech immune system. So I wanted to say earlier on that I completely forgot to mention it. Looking at the chart, I was going to say, wow, if anybody knows, whenever I look at these things, this looks like a biotech stock, a very low priced biotech stock in the old days. I don't think they can do it anymore. As I recall, it used to look as if they were giving options to uh, the, the, the people in the company so that they could pay them because they usually didn't have very much money. And that's the way. So the options would spike once a month or every two weeks. And then probably they sold them and then they would collapse again. They go back to a dollar ten or whatever it is. This is what it looks For like. Instance, but to repeat, me. Absolutely. I see the same thing, Basil. And I see the strikes that they uh, execute to turn into the shears. Um, so, so you should check it out. Look at the board. There's some heavy hitters on there from BlackRock, a lot of vets. It doesn't oh God, seem like well, your typical high-risk biotech, but I I'm, could be I'm wrong. Putting you know? it down. I'm putting it down as one of my potential uh, screamers because when this goes, it really goes. Even as we're speaking, it's now up uh, at 183. So, yes, so I, I feel confident in what we've discussed, that it's, it's, it's forming a base, and that's the most important thing. If it ever breaks uh, one. 51, that's a real problem. But so far, for months, it's held that as support. Just treat it as uh, every time it, it spikes up, take some profits off. Maybe you'd even want to keep longer distance uh, calls uh, because there's going to be a point where you take your profits and the next thing you know, it doubles up again on the upside because that's know, when it breaks out. I've done but that before. Point, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? So, okay, well, good luck. Let me know how it hey, goes. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. it. Thank you so much. You have a safe week. And you too. Thank you very much. So, Thank folks, you, this is to, uh, my pleasure. Thank you for calling. So, let, let me just do this. Um, I, I just, uh, while I'm looking at it, I had a question about FUTU. Yes, it's trying to fill in the gap. It's up about $4.94 at 60.46. This is the move that's really important because if it isn't able, this is uh, whatever it's, so I did this yesterday, FUTU Holdings, I believe it's a Chinese company. If this is unable in within two weeks, if it hasn't closed above 74.50, but it's stuck in this range, 
is going to be stuck here for a while longer. So that's all I'm saying. A um, couple of questions I had. Let me just go through this. So well, let me go through this slowly. So I haven't, I, I looked at gold, I looked at silver, I looked at copper, I, I looked at the dollar. Now what we want to do is we want to go to um, crude oil. So crude oil is down a little bit. It, it was an early, it was, what was the report that came out? Let me see what it said. Um, I think it's, uh, who, who posted it? Uh, thank you, Ruby. So this is the data <coughs> showing 3.59 million bill for crude. After the private data showed crude of invent, uh, inventories, uh, higher bulls of 3.59. All right. So um, w w it's it's not affecting the the oil crude oil positively. This is the pattern we're looking at. Let me just make it a little expand a little bit more so you know what I'm looking at. See this big red candle? It's the second big red candle since it, since it made its recovery high of 85.41. That gets smoothed out because this is a continuous contract. I wouldn't trade just off the continuous. I would actually have the contract that I'm wanting to trade December or March, whatever it is. Uh, but in this case, I'm using this for my benchmark. You can see the USO, the United States Oil, where did that go? Oh, United States Oil Fund is exactly the same thing. Look, USO, um, that's actually lower. This has already made leg B to the downside, made its uh, recovery high over here at 58.69 on the 25th. And it's trading now at 56.24. Not a big deal, but it's a big deal because it's making lower highs and lower lows as it arches over. And I, I would suggest to you, now I know I heard Teddy Kegstack talking with Tommy earlier on. I managed to get that. Uh, I, ma I managed to actually listen to it. And, and Teddy was saying he thinks oil could pull back a little bit, but he sees higher highs. You know, I, I also see higher highs, but I, I think at this particular point, there's a chance that crude oil, let's just have a look at the uh, jets. This is the U.S. Uh, there we are. Jets. This is the U.S. Global Jets ETF up 31 cents at 23.04. This is the rotation I'm talking about. So maybe all of a sudden you can get this helping the IYT, which is the transportation index average, um, which is up 28 cents at 274 after the leg D high yesterday, recovery high just off all time highs of 287.40, the most recent high, and this was like in 279s. So we're looking at maybe you're getting some kind of a pullback here in crude, and uh, we're going to be watching this. And all I can say is that for subscribers, we did set up, um, as I say, a short position. <clears throat> Don't usually go into commodities in terms of shorts. We are in the commodities, you know, we, we are still along the DBA, we're from July of last year, I think it is, in the 13s, and here it is at 19. But look at this. We just made a peak D. What are we looking for in the Chapman Wave methodology? We're looking to see if there's some kind of a top at a D or an E. Well, you made a peak E at 80. Uh, I can't even see that. It's 807. Was that a round number? Anyway, 807 is pulled back. It's at 782. Leg C in the month in the weekly chart, monthly chart, leg F. So it's starting to pull back. You're looking at soybeans, uh, just sideways, just in a sideways trading band. Look at corn. Corn had a spectacular move and it stopped right when I'm calling at that a D. And if that's a D, you've pulled back um, from the 580s to now 568 and a half. So we're going to be watching this closely. There's this whole rotation, so there's no reason why you can't be looking at, uh, oh, soybeans, uh, sorry, sugar. Oh, is, sugar is trading down 17 cents in 1937. So I've often seen where some of the commodities, not necessarily all three of the ones that we're following, but if one or two start to pull back, sometimes soybeans start to move higher. Uh, it's just like they're in their own world, all of these different ones. And look at that. If soybeans in the next two, three days um, not if it spikes over, it has to close. It's at 19.36. And 19.36 is fine, it's down 18 uh, cents. But I want to see this trade and close above 1971, preferably above 1976. And then it can tackle the high that was made for a new leg C above the 27th of October high of. of uh, 19.86. Now, a whole bunch of things I've, I wanted to do, and I'm just about to run out of time. No, I've got one segment to go. We'll rush through that segment. I've got a bunch of things that I've come up that people have asked me about. 
and I'll do that. Be right back. Yeah. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, yes, real quickly, questions came up. We've got a leg D and, uh, and uh, micro strategy, MSTR trading up $1.84 at $7.95 or $98. Had a massive move back in February. I think in February of 2021, it went to 13, 15, round number high. Oh, those round numbers. Pulls back a little bit down to 400, and now it's trading at uh, $7.96 up 237 after yesterday's big spike to the 840s, 841 round number high. That's leg E. We'll see if this is going to make a peak for, for the moment. Leg D in the weekly chart. The next thing I was asked about was Marriott. So look at this. This is if, if times are so bad, why is Marriott International uh, Resorts uh, up near? It's at an all time high as we speak at 164. Uh, this is recycled. Either this is, uh, I haven't, I can't do any work real quickly on this. I'm calling it an F, but it really looks like more like a B and a C in the weekly chart, D in the monthly chart. These are all-time highs. So this is, you know, the market and uh, things are not nearly as bad as the people say. And if you got the RTH, which is the retail index, at an all-time high as we speak at 188.38, um, I would venture to say to you that the jobs situation um, there must be some amelioration of it because how can you have retail, Van Eck retail? This, thing, this includes the bricks and mortar. 
In fact, I'm not even sure this has Amazon. So uh, I just want to mention that. A couple of, couple of things uh, that I want you to look at here is um, within the context of the markets, let me just say that if by the end of the day, the Dow right now is only down 46. If the Dow makes a new recovery high today, above yesterday's high, 36,088, I would venture to say, you know what? Maybe things are not any, even close to turning down because I would, I'd be looking at the, the S&P down 14 or 16 or 18 at this point if the market was going to tank. Until you see the, the VIX index running sharply into the high 17s, and the S&P actually down 15, 15 points. It's a mixed market with new highs coming in some of the industries. Have a wonderful, uh, wonderful day. Stay tuned for a great.